what's up y'all welcome back i know i've been kind of m.i.a here for a while but uh it's just been so hot and i haven't been able to do much fishing and when i do go it's really not that great and worth putting a video up uh every now and then you can go out there and have a good day but most times it's really tough and slow and i'd have to fish all day to make a good video and it's too hot I've, it's 10 o'clock and i'm out there sweating already so but i do plan on making a few more videos of or a few videos of my tackle uh maybe my top five go-to lures uh my rods and reels whether or not it's going you it's worth buying the expensive equipment versus the cheap walmart stuff uh and I'm actually going fishing in the morning to my, that uh, seven acre private lake that I have access to. So hopefully I'll be able to get, on, get a couple of good ones there. But like I said, that water temperature is probably mid to upper 80s. But uh, anyway, I just want to let y'all know I'm not going anywhere. And hopefully come fall, come fall and early winter, I'll be posting a lot more videos because that's usually when I fish the most. So I'd rather fish in 30 degree weather than I would 80 85 degree weather I'm just, so also having bought a new aquarium that i put the bass from the pond i put him in there and a couple brim and i bought a new algae eater and i put him in there so i'm gonna swap back and kind of show y'all everything i do with that and then hopefully in the next couple of days y'all have a video of me fishing hopefully if i don't catch anything i'm not gonna post it so I'll go ahead and show y'all this. Oh. So, there's, well, you see the bass swimming in the background. There's one brand. Whenever I come up here, I've had it up for about two weeks, I guess. So, they've done learn. Whenever I walk up to the aquarium, I'm usually giving them some worms or something. And I got a few minnows left, but I started out with about three dozen earlier this week. And, of course, the bass is eating all of them. It's kind of cool to see them like early in the mornings the bass is always on the bottom and that just kind of if you watch them di different during or during different cold fronts or warm fronts or whatever and the way they react to the barometric pressure i feel like you can take that to the lake and apply it there so we'll see I'm, i don't know how true that is yet but i'm gonna try it but I guess I will I'll get a, a worm or two. And see if I can, I fed them earlier, so I don't know if they're gonna eat or not, but. Bear with me, I wasn't gonna feed them, but then I changed my mind, so I had to get my worms out. I just made a mess, look at that. But there we go. Look at him sitting there waiting on me to put worms in here. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't named them yet. If y'all want me to name them, and someone comment some names, I'm not. I'm not against it. Uh, what, what's crazy is that one right there is so much fatter than that one and that one I don't know if y'all can see that or not but it's got he's got blue eyes underneath or blue underneath his eyes and then the skinnier one is darker I don't I don't really know why to be honest I've looked up the different species of sunfish and you got red ear green ear that plain bluegill these worms are ridiculous Hurry up and I'm dropping it. Oh, I got it. Like I said, I don't think they're that hungry just because I fed them earlier. But anyway, bad part of it about it is all that dirt from the worms gets in the bottom of the tank and I have to clean it out pretty regularly. But anyways, uh, y'all look forward to more of my videos. I will be posting more here shortly so i will see y'all next time